Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to spot something interesting. I get this question frequently, but it's how do you make your halos or angel eyes flicker? Today we're going to cover that. I'm going to show you just how you do it, I'm going to show you why it happens, and I'm going to explain all everything else. So keep watching. First of all, guys, if you're new here, my name is Eddie. I do car reviews, I do vlogging a little bit, and also BW content. So if you like cars, like cars in general, guys, be sure to subscribe um, because I do a lot of interesting things here. But the video is going to be about the halos and why do they do it, why do they flicker, and how do you make them do it? All right, okay, short answer. They're actually happening now. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's all by the camera. So how does that work? Well, when you look at LEDs, LEDs stands for light emitting diode. All right. Now, when you compare that to a traditional halogen bulb or a filament bulb, those bulbs have what you'll see inside a filament and that glows. So you turn the lights on, the two, you know, filament heats up, it glows and that's how you get your light. Now, a light emitting diode is a board, a chip. I can go into the diving deep into it, electronics, but basically what happens is it's either on or it's off. There isn't an in-between like a filament. So how LEDs work, they cycle off and on quickly. My eyes cannot see the cycling. There's no way I can see the, the lights, you know, blinking off and on. However, the camera can, because when the camera, when you're seeing it on camera, like how many frames the camera is going, like, you know, you can take, even back in the day, cameras, you had, you know, the different multi frames, right? So when you go move a image, say for example, if I'm taking a frame, a video camera, and I say, you know, I want to go one frame at a time. The higher the frame rate means there's more frames per second in, in that, that, to get that given second. I don't know if you're tracking it right now. I don't know if it, that makes sense or not, but if I want really ultra smooth video or anything like that, it's going to be a higher frame rate. If the frame rate is really short, say for example, I'm doing something five frames per second, that means you're going to see me jump around a lot in the camera. Um, if you want something ultra slow motion, if you want to slow it down a little bit, if you want something really smooth, a higher frame rate because you're going to get a lot of frames in that one second. The, camp, the LEDs are cycling uh, hundreds of times per second. So what I'm trying to explain is, yes, my eyes can't see it, but depending on the frame rate, the frame rate may capture these LEDs cycling off and on. You're gonna, you're gonna see it. So as we go through different frame rates, I'm gonna play this right now so you guys can see it. You'll see the different frame rates, how, I, how the LEDs look. All right, now, if I wanna turn the lights on, the LEDs dim out, but they can't dim. So what they'll do is they will cycle a little bit slower to give the LEDs more of a dimmer appearance. The more if they're if they're on more quickly or more solid, more brighter, they're going to be on more often. If they want to be dim, they're going to be a slower cycle, and that's what gives it its appearance. All right. So just a quick video. I hope you guys understand. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see more interesting content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But I'll see you next one.